This was a lot like me traveling to Europe in 2017. I had thought if I packed more, then I would be far less worried about forgetting something I needed. This was a horrible mistake. Since this mistake, I decided that one bag travel was the best possible thing for time, efficiency, reducing stress, saving money, and easier going from place to place. I am happy to say that after many international and domestic trips, I have not looked back. Time while you are traveling comes at even more of a virtue compared to day-to-day -day life since you are only at your destination for a small period of time. When switching to one bag travel, it allows you to move throughout the airport at a much swifter pace. Without having to worry about approaching that check-in desk, it allows you to go right through security with ease. It will then in turn allow you to go right off of the plane when you land, go right to customs, or out at the airport without having to go through that pesky baggage claim line. Which of course then means you get to start your vacation even that little bit quicker. I also like to think that time is saved when packing and repacking items as there are less items to put inside of your bag, specifically if you decide to use packing cubes. One bag travel is also much more efficient as everything is within a simple grasp at all times. This is even more so when traveling with a backpack thanks to their amazing sorting abilities. Also, if you guys would like me to make a video on comparing backpacks to carry-on suitcases, leave a comment below and maybe even subscribe while you're at it. This efficiency extends even further into not having decision fatigue while you are on your trip. By packing less items and clothes before the trip, it will allow you to put an emphasis on mixing and matching your capsule wardrobe. My favorite thing about one bag travel is how much it reduced stress while city and country hopping. Carrying around a large checked bag is extremely mentally and physically exhausting. It was also a relief knowing that by reducing the amount that I packed, I knew exactly what I had and where it was packed at. Now this becomes even more in handy when going through security because you could reach in, grab your liquids or grab any technology and electronics that you had and easily access them and put them on the conveyor belt and move right through. Now you can do this packing hack as well by before your trip, lay out all the things that you may want to bring, then dwindle it down into the things that you need to bring. And on the physical side of things, let's just be honest, would you rather carry a 40 pound bag or a 25 pound bag? And I know this question may be going around in your head, Trevor, what if I want to bring back items from my trips? The answer to that is you don't get to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Of course, bring your stuff back. This is where your efficiency in packing beforehand and dwindling down to the things that you need versus the wants is a very important step. Another reason why one bag travel is fantastic is that it saves you money. And who doesn't like to save money? In fact, I love it so much that I decided to make a video on my tips to help you save money on vacation, which you can click on somewhere up here. It can save you money because then you won't have to pay outrageous fees for checking a bag, especially if you're deciding to go onto a budget airline. That's kind of how they get you. Uh, but if you're on this budget airline, it means you probably already want to save money anyways. So why not save even more by making sure you only bring a carry-on or a backpack with you instead of checking a bag. Now it also reduces the chances of you losing your items specifically if they are checked, which that in turn can also help you save money and more so, it can help you save stress from wondering where the heck your luggage is at. One of my favorite things about having one carry-on bag is that it's so much easier to get around. For the most part, unless you have like a sling bag, you can be hands-free the whole time and access your wallets or any other important items that you may need at any time. Also, if you arrive at your destination early, you can then use this time to roam around before checking into your hotel with a much greater ease if you had the backpack or a carry-on luggage compared to a suitcase that was checked in. And on a similar note, it is so much easier to use public transit with less items on your person. I will typically just take my bag right to my seat and carry it along with me. This can also help reduce my stress by not having my bag in the baggage designated area which sometimes you have to watch pretty closely. Now just remember, if you decide to go with the backpack instead of the carry-on, it will get a little bit sweaty and heavy while you are walking around. And in turn to that, if you have the carry-on luggage, just remember you won't be entirely hands-free. One hand will be on the luggage 
and the other hand will be free. One bag travel can be incredibly useful for anyone and any destination. I highly recommend that you try it on your next trip, and if you do plan to try one bag travel on your next trip, go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and then comment afterwards how it went for you when you tried it for the first time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.